So is it fair to say that she runs the emotional life in the family? Yes. Right. Say. Do you mind if I say something shocking? Well, there's no point asking that since you don't know what it is. So I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> okay. Women can do wonderful, amazing, fantastic things. Women have enormously influenced me intellectually. Women can produce and create life, run wonderful households and run giant businesses if they want. But I'll tell you something, Jackie. The one thing that women cannot do is run the emotional life in a relationship. Uh -huh. I'll tell you why. Okay. Because women are statistically significantly more what's called neurotic than men, which is, you know, up and down, a little bit of mood swing enough uh, and, and uh, experience more negative emotions and more fight or flight responses to fairly innocuous stimuli. You know, putting a woman in charge of the emotional life relationships, like putting a coked up bus driver in charge of a school bus, you're going to get somewhere down the road, but it's countdown to ditch, right? Mm -hmm. And men... I don't know if it's hormonal. I don't know if it's brain structure. I don't know. But men are more even tempered, more even keeled. And in my sort of looking at the world and thinking sort of back over my own life, women can be in charge of a lot of things. You know, there's a lot of great division of labor that goes on in relationships. But women in general cannot be in charge of the emotional life of a relationship. It's too roller coaster. Yes. Yes, I, I had that in mind too, that word. Right. Men have a kind of stability wherein there's a deviation that's fairly obvious. Whereas a woman's emotional life generally is more, a little more scattered, a little more contradictory. I mean, <laughs> there's an old phrase, I think it's too far, but there's an old phrase that says a woman's mind is a torture prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's hard to feel peace of mind it's hard to get that serenity which is why you know they keep selling serenity to women uh -huh. join this yoga class like i was uh, getting a juice the other day and i saw this little picture on the wall and it's all these women you know with this in that you know that yoga position that makes you look like half of a fleshy shark that dorsal fin going down your leg and it's like be serene be at peace and you always see like these ads for these spas, you know? Mm -hmm. Women, is your, is your mind a torture chamber? Don't worry, we'll lie your face down in mud and put giant hot rocks on your back and you'll be fine. And so the, the world sells stability and peace of mind and serenity. You don't see that for men. With men, it's like, join the squash court and run around till you throw up on the floor. <laughs> And then kick it aside and run around some more. Come to a NASCAR race where we'll blow your eardrums wide with 6,000 volts of high-octane <laughs> energy. So women, they're constantly dangling this, oh, serenity, serenity, serenity. Peace, peace, peace. We'll give you a foot rub. We'll give you an in-home pampering, anything. We'll distract you from your own brain for 12 minutes and you can pretend you're at peace. And the reason, of course, why there's all of this selling of, of peace of mind, of serenity, oh, the welfare state, oh, we have a free health care, is because women are kind of uneasy and statistically in general, again, tons of exceptions, but statistically in general, <laughs> more neurotic than men. Mm. And since we know that, and, 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 you know, there are things where women have the clear edge over men. Certain aspects of conscientiousness, uh, certain aspects of uh, being agreeable and so on, clear edge on men. And therefore, you know, in the traditional way that the family works is the woman is the social director, right? And the man mm -hmm. tries to balance out some of the highs and lows of the woman's emotional state. I mean, it's one of the things that happens when women are, when women give up that role or if there's a divorce or something, what happens? Well, the man stops, the man stops having a social life because the social life is all run by the woman. Mm -hmm. And so there are particular strengths that happen in relationships. But putting a woman in charge of the emotional life of the relationship, that is, that's like having women vote on borders. 
<laughs> it's really not a, not a good idea at all. <laughs> <laughs>